Hello, my name is JJ, head of production over at Iceblock, and today we are looking at how to import AVCHD footage into Premiere, and then we're going to convert it into ProRes for easier editing. First thing you want to do is go over to your project window and double click to import media. And we've got several AVCHD reels ready to go. You'll see that there's a long file tree with lots of different types of files. Let's just go with RB. And the first thing you'll notice is it looks like it's going to go quickly and then it slows down. This, be this is because there are dozens and dozens of files inside that tree and some of them are useful and some of them are not. And right now it's going through and deciding which ones are useful and which ones are not. So we are going to let that finish its process and then we'll continue. When it's completed, this window will come up listing all the files that it could not import. That is not a problem. It got all the video files. These are different and useless files for our purposes right now. So you can click OK. Autosave reminds us that we should save frequently, so we do. All right, now let's find our video files by clicking RB, that's real B, the second reel we shot that day, and then opening the stream window, and this will be all your video files. We can take a look at some of them just to make sure this is what we're after. Looking good. Now that is 60p, 1920 by 1080. Very, very nice. That's what we want to be using. But we don't want it at 60p. We want it at 24p because we are going to be editing the slow motion footage. So what you can do is select all the footage, right click, modify, interpret footage, and change this from 1 to 23.976. All right, we're almost there. Next thing we want to do is, while all this footage is still selected, right click and go to Export Media. This will bring up our export settings. Now we don't want to go to H.264. We, we could, but we have been very comfortable with the ProRes codec. We've uh, liked the efficiency of that, of that codec. It's much less compressed than um, H.264 and much, much less compressed than AVCHD. And the more compressed footage is, the harder the processor has to work to play it back. Of course, the bigger the files are, the faster the drive has to spin to play the footage back. So you're looking for a sweet spot between low compression but not such high data rates that the drive and the um, the connector from the external drive to the computer can't keep up with the data transfer. So we feel that uh, ProRes 422 is kind of that sweet spot for 1920 by 1080. So we are going to go to QuickTime for the format. And over here under Video Codec, we'll go to ProRes 422. Now, if this were interview footage or something where we needed the audio, we would include export audio, but this is event footage and events are usually very noisy and the audio from them is useless. So we're going to uncheck this box and we are ready to export. We've got QuickTime, ProRes 422, no audio. Now let's go down here and click on Q and we'll wait a minute while Adobe Encoder opens. Now it does take a little minute for Encoder to load up and to import all the files. And once they are imported, one thing that you should do is always scroll down to the bottom and check the final number, 72, and then scroll down to the bottom of your project window and check that that is also 72, just to make sure that it's got all the files imported correctly. Next thing is to select all. The current output file will be uh, created right next to the original file, which is deep in a tree of semi-locked folders. So to make this easier on yourself, what we do is we select them all and then click on one of them. And what we're going to do is change the output location. So what we need to do is go to the Tokyo Drive. This is the Bob project. I don't know why it's, there we go. 
then what we do is create a folder called pro that's short for ProRes, and in there create a new folder and we're going to call that folder r b named after its uh, source reel and then we choose that folder so now everything is going into real b in the pro folder and it's going to be named as the original file was named now it's as simple as clicking the play button and going to get yourself a tea coffee or other libation while you wait for it to render thank you so much for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to message us or to leave them in the comments we are happy to create whatever tutorial you might think you need good luck